We've got a huge slit going out here. If we get a Tommy, we can put a squid teaser out under this corner as well. Very fat little Tommy. Looks like a double header. Two lots of flashing. Well, that's really interesting because that's actually getting pulled down now. It feels like we got a squid on the drop, guys. So that might be a good sign too, guys. Everything feels like it's coming up Millhouse. Today we're at Port Giles, which is just on the lower South York Peninsula. And it is a bit of a blowy day, but I had a look at the weather and I thought this was probably going to be the best spot. We've got some darker weedy patches and some sandy patches out there. I've got some squid guts from our last effort down at Point Riley on the wash bag. And then I've got a normal Tommy, um, Tommy Gar um, burly pot out there. Uh, we're going to try and catch some Tommies and Gar, might flick some lures as well. Um, and also, obviously, this looks like perfect ground to try and catch some squid. So we've just casted out our float for the uh, first time, uh, just with some gents. And we'll just see if we get some early action. That burly pot's been going for a little bit, as has the wash bag. Uh, we're on the low tide at the moment. We're probably two to three hours away from the high. So perfect time to be fishing the incoming tide. We'll just let that sit there and hopefully the burley will do its work and some more fish will uh, come around. In the meantime, we're going to get the uh, Rainbow Magic from Inku Squid Tackle out and see if we can uh, entice some squid on our eggy rod. With the tail breeze behind us, we should get a reasonable cast. It's just a matter of finding the, the depth, I guess, and understanding how we can get to the bottom without getting caught on the bottom. Now I'd normally put some S-Factor on that jig, but it already had some left on it from our last session. The water does look very clear today, so that's a, a real positive sign for the squid. Hopefully we can pull a few out. It certainly looks like a very squiddy you know, area with those dark, weedy, rocky patches along with the, the nice open patches. There's a shag out there, so hopefully that's a, a positive sign. It'd be nice to catch just a uh, a little Tommy Ruff just to put out on a squid teaser because I didn't bring any Tommies with me today. All right, guys, we're just going to move down to that corner. The uh, other people fishing down there have uh, vacated. I think it's just a better spot because it's got a corner and the wind's sort of going in that direction. So we'll bring the rods down and we'll see how we go. So we've moved down into this corner. As I said here, the Tommy floats out and we're going to keep casting the uh, Rainbow Magic and see if we can get a squid. Now, I'm seeing that float do some funny things, but I don't know if it's just the, the wind because there is a, a fairly strong breeze behind us. Just keep an eye on it. It didn't go under, it just sort of stood up. So I think it might just be the wind on the, on the loose line, picking it up. But I would think this is the perfect sort of weather to pick up some Tommy Ruff or gar even, salmon. We've got a huge slit going out here with the uh, Tassie salmon oil. We got um, shags out here, so there must be some level of activity, you would think. I think we're getting some bites, guys. We just, yeah, we definitely got some bites. The Tommies might be on, guys. Here we go. We got a fish. It's a Tommy. Oh, we dropped him. So it's amazing. We're not getting any bites whatsoever. And just a tiny, uh, I think we might have a double header here, guys. A tiny um, split shot. No, just the one, but it's reasonable size. That's a good size Tommy, guys. That is a bloody good size Tommy. And he just got off. We're gonna get the measure on that one. It's not so much the length, it's the fatness of it. 20, 24, 24 and a half. Uh, very, very fat little Tommy. So we're back in the water. We're all freshly baited up. We're watching that float. It's probably right in the zone now. You can see it's sort of in that slick. We're not as far out as we were before, so if we don't get hit here, we might wind it in and see if we can cast it out a bit further. Uh, I think we're getting a pull there. Anytime the float goes left, probably a bite because the wind's blowing everything right. And we're right in that slick zone right now, which is the, the Burley Trail, which is where the fish should be. It's gotta be more than one out there. They're definitely a schooling group. Might need that sun just to come out again, to be honest. Well, at least it's not a donut, but I'd, I don't know. Don't know where they've gone. 
Okay guys, we're finally back onto another one. That took a while. Double header, maybe. Yeah, looks like a double header. Two lots of flashing. Hopefully one of them's a small one we can put out as a teaser. There we go guys, nice little uh, doubly. They're not as big as the last one, but they'll, uh, they'll certainly do. Bottom one's off. He'll be the one that goes out on the squid teaser. Top one's off as well. Should show you both of them, I guess. So two fairly small ones. That one can go on the teaser. So we've just uh, ickied him and we've got our, our squid teaser, put him out. I'm not convinced we're actually in. We might be a bit too deep for the squid. So I'm gonna make a fairly long trace. Definitely nice and fresh though. And we'll get the uh, squid teaser off over the corner here so it stays out the way. Good thing about being on a jetty that's not very busy. You've got a bit of room to fish. We'll leave that out there. Put the squid teaser here, ready to rock and roll. And we'll get back out in the water see if we can uh, get another couple of Tommies. Oh, stupid bird. <laughs> Bloody Shag's trying to take my uh, fish. Very annoying, go away. Yeah, he's pulled it. That is super annoying. Just gonna try and do it through the back of the head because the whole front of the face is uh, not gonna work now. <sighs> I just don't know where that, if that bird's gone or if he's coming back. All right, we'll try and get this uh, teaser out again and see if we can hopefully keep away from the birds. See how that goes. Down the bottom now, hopefully Mr. Shag has moved on. Well, that's really interesting because that's actually getting pulled down now. And I don't think, it could be the Shag again, but it feels like a squid. It feels like we got a squid on the drop, guys. Let's just let him on there for a bit. And we'll just get our squid jig out in the water. He's still on it. Is it the squid or the shag? No, nah, it's a squid. Yeah, we must have dropped it literally straight on the squid. He's still following it. It's a big squid. He's moving. I'm hoping he's now on the squid jig. We'll soon see. Just gonna let these people walk past. Mm, he's not, but he's, we know he's around. There he is, okay, he's just, he just saw my jig and he scooted up for it. And we've got him. He feels good. It's not huge. Not huge, but he's uh, eating size on the Inku Rainbow Magic. So that might be a good sign too, guys. Oh, really? Okay, so I've lost that fish, so we're really gonna have to focus on, I'm actually gonna put the squid jig on this one as well. So until we catch another Tommy that we can use that's small enough, I'm gonna put the gold runner on here and we might get one or two as a bit of a sleeper one. And really, I don't know where these Tommies are and why they haven't sort of just kept on keeping on, but we've got two keeper Tommies and a squid. So far, so we're getting there towards a feed. And I guess on a positive with the squid jag, a shag's not gonna take that. All right, we've shaken up the burly buckets, put on fresh uh, bait we're in the water. The sun's starting to come out. Everything's feel, the wind's dropped a little bit. Everything feels like it's coming up millhouse. Let's hope we can convert some more. The shag's back out there. Probably swam past my jig and went, yeah, no, nah, he's not putting real fish out anymore. Uh, we got one. It's again, very strange, like how it just decides that it's coming on. It's another reasonable uh, size one, so we will keep this one. If we get the smaller brother or sister, then we'll uh, put them out as a squid teaser. We got another bite. Oh, I think I just let it go. But it's going back down again. And we got him. We got a double, guys. Double, double. Just oh, dropped one. Now that's a small one we can put out as a as a squid teaser. I mean, it, it really is edible size. Just swap the uh, jig over for the fresh tummy. Now I'm just with that last one. I really caught it when I put the teaser out, sort of almost parallel to the jetty. 
a bit like that. They might be hanging around the structure of the jetty, the squid. Yeah, we're getting some bites. Got him. Way big jump. Not a bad size. Just checking that squid float. It looks like it was bobbing up and down before, but maybe not. All hands on deck at the moment. All right, we'll put it back down and just want that wind to disappear a bit. We've got a, a squid on this teaser. Didn't even see it going down. I was just gonna wind it in. Oh, and it feels like a good one, guys. Yeah, so I had a squid on this before too. Obviously I pulled his tentacle off. I'm just gonna put this just out there like that. So you can quite easily, as I said, see that they don't always pull the float down. I think the bigger ones, as they get older, they get a bit smarter. Now I'm just conscious, just wanna bring him in under my jag line. Can't see any followers. It's not, it doesn't look that big, but. Right, so he should be on my jag about now. You can see it actually going relatively straight. And we'll just uh, see if we've got him. I can see him down there. He's coming over to my jag now. And we've got him. He hasn't inked yet. Oh, he has just now. A little bit bigger than that last one. But, uh, yeah, as I said, they get smarter and smarter. I think these squid as they get older. And he's a, a very good specimen using the teaser and the Inku Rainbow Magic to finish the job. So let's get this teaser back out in the water. You can see how much he'd been sitting there chewing on that one. And again, that's just the advantage of having these really fresh Tommies. Well, I was about to um, just do the burly bucket and uh, as I looked over, this teaser was down again. Oh, we must have another squiddly diddly. There's some weight there. Again, not, not massive. Really interesting what's happening out there too. Just saw a splash, might be some salmon or something. He did just drop off of that. So while he's coming back to it, I just double check the... And we've actually got one on here that was just sleeper. So I wasn't even trying to catch a squid with that one. <laughs> and this little one has jumped on board. Just put him there. Get this back out in the water. That was just hanging there down by that pole. So we'll take that as a win. And this other one should be back on board. He is. Perfect. Just bring him in. So yeah, they're being very um, coy, I guess. It's the... He's just dropped that. Got a bit too close to the surface and dropped it. back on it. Just going to bring it up. He should be still around the place. Just going to put that here. Get this out to where he was. Should be around the place out there somewhere. It's funny how we catch the one that we weren't expecting off the rod. There we go, we got him reasonable size and right on the crown oh tiny actually but he was interested nonetheless we've got the teaser back out there so hopefully we pick up another one and just goes to show sometimes it's worth just keeping a jig I don't catch them very much I don't catch them very often that way but Sometimes we're just keeping a jig dangling right by the jetty. They tend to like structure. All right, guys, um, hopefully you can see that float out there. She's, uh, go on, go under. Yeah, she's going under. Yeah, we've got another squid. Got the gold runner this time out there. Feels reasonable. Wish I could see, oh yeah, there's my line there. Might actually bring him in this side just because it's a bit easier. We don't get hooked up on our line again. 
Not sure if there's one or two out there. Just keep an eye out. Definitely a reasonable size one there. You can only see the one at this point. He's chasing it. Should be out of his view now. And just gonna, and we got him. Just like that. Just a bit of patience. As I said, the water's really clear today, so that's been great. Just bring him in, just tighten that drag up a bit. Up and over. Oh, thanks, buddy. So yeah, it's been a little bit of a slow day. It's about half past two now in the afternoon. We got here just before 11. So not too bad. What's that? 12, 1, 2, 2.30. We've got a pretty good feed actually for the time we've been here. I think we've got another squid. <clears throat> just been casually watching it and it's gone under a few times. Oh, come on. There's got to be a squid on that. I'm not sure why it's going under. Like it went right under gone under again oh it's got to be a squid on it this is a crab it's a little bit of weight there not a lot so could potentially be a crab there's weight there's a bit of weight there now my glow tiger is just down there in the water it's definitely a squid oh that's annoying I just fed him. Damn it. <laughs> the fish fell off and he got the fish. Well, his head came off. So that squid got a free feed for me. A <sighs> little bit annoying, but where well, there's one squid, there can be many. Well, I might have to get one of my Tommies that I've caught that are a bit smaller. It's a good size Tommy. I hate to use it for a teaser, but it's really been the only way we've been catching the squid today is by teasing them in, in these rougher and tougher conditions. Rightio, here we go. Nice fresh Tommy, see if we can get some more squiddly diddly. Hmm. Well, it has definitely slowed down somewhat. Well, the tide's coming in now, so hopefully we'll start to see some action, but definitely for the last hour or so, which no doubt you wouldn't have seen, uh, it's been super quiet. I'd like to say a big thanks to the 3,000 subs that we've just ticked past um, 18 months, nearly two years ago. I guess I started this channel not knowing what it could be, and I think we're building a really great community, so thanks for being part of it. If you're not already a subscriber, you know what you need to do. I'm just sharing my everyday fishing experiences here, land-based in South Australia. So if you enjoy it, give us a subscribe, like the video and drop a comment. I'm always happy to answer comments. <laughs>